Evans, and I am the instructional coach at Warren Tech, and I support the auto collision program. And I am Jim Porter, and I am an instructor here at Warren Tech in the auto collision program. We have around 80 students um, every year. Uh, we've been fortunate enough to have a waiting list uh, for the last three years for, for our program. Our goal is to take all those 80 students and put them in industry. We feel it's real important to make sure that these kids, when they graduate, are definitely uh, ready for a job. The students that, that do come to Warren Tech are here because they want to be here. Nobody's forcing them to be here. It's an elective type of a, a program. Uh, but when the students get here and they realize that they're actually able to spend half of the day actually working with their hands, being out in, the, in a shop environment, instead of sitting behind a desk all day, uh, keeps the kids uh, engaged and, and focused. It's, it's amazing to see every single one of them just excited to be there every single day. And they are excited to learn from the two program instructors and they take in every bit of it and you'll see them walk away from just a little bit of instruction they get and they'll just go crazy with it. So we're giving them all the skills that they need that not only when they can go out and work in the industry, but they're going to be successful workers that um, are reliable, that show up on time, that know what it means to adapt and be in a team. There's a great need to have young people in this industry. We get calls two or three times a week from body shops. Uh, do you have anybody you can send? One of the, one of the biggest needs and the things that, that we struggle with um, here at Warren Tech is that the auto industry uh, technology is just going phenomenal. It's so hard to keep up on technology and automobiles today. We could get some of this money uh, for our grant. It allows us to move some money around. It allows us to spend money on uh, consumables. We have 80 students doing bumper repair. Anytime that we have our students doing bumper repair, it costs us $1,200 just for that bumper repair material. If, if we could take money from buying an aluminum welder or aluminum rivet gun and we're able to put that money towards other areas in the program, it just keeps our technology and our students on the cutting edge of technology. One of the things that they concentrate on in the auto collision program is around safety. Safety is paramount to them. The paint booth that we have is is not as up to date as it needs to be and we're concerned that in the future it's going to have some safety issues. So what we need to do is we need to replace it first of all for it to be more up to date with all of the changes in uh, the industry. It's not very efficient right now. It's uh, not fuel efficient and it's the airflow has an issue to it and so we need to get that replaced before it becomes a safety issue for students. The paint booth is very important for the program and it gives the kids the real life experience of being in a paint booth and without having an up to date one we're going to probably have to stop utilizing that paint booth and which takes away an experience for kids. Now we have a, a breathable fresh air uh, system, but it's on a small kind of a scale. We'd like to get away from, from using disposable air filters and actually go to a breathable fresh air. It's very expensive. I mean, things like that that we dabble with. So make sure that the students, when they get out in the industry, they already know how to take care of themselves when they're in that industry. But that money would reach so many students. Uh, from an instructional standpoint, having 80 students in the class it is really difficult to not have the most updated equipment and to have enough of it because if you have 80 students and you have um, one aluminum rivet gun and that's all you have, you have students who are standing around. You have students who aren't learning at the deep level they can be learning and there's some safety issues with that. So from an instructional perspective, we need more of the most up-to-date equipment just to service all of these kids and give them those opportunities to know what it feels like to be in a shop. It's real important for us, for 80 students to be able to benefit, to actually have 80 students go out and know about ICAR and know uh, the fact that because of ICAR, uh, the Education Foundation, that they were able to take some of this money and, and make the most of it. Thank you.